Hey guys, I'm so excited to review this with you today. I just got this. It is a native 1080 pixel projector and by the brand Handwind. So I was looking for um, a projector so we could play movies on and I decided to get this one. I'm gonna review it with you guys today. I'm gonna let you know how easy it is to get it set up and show you guys the quality of it. Let's go ahead and see how this works. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you turn on your power button right there. You have your remote right here that it needs two AA batteries. You're going to want to take the cover off the front of it. So I'm kind of just setting up here. I kind of just got stacked on, um, you know, some books right now, but, um, so I just used a, like a studio backdrop, a white one. It is a little light in here, so um, it's not completely dark yet, but honestly, the quality is really good. I was really impressed with how little amount of time it took me to get this set up. So you have your remote, and if you go to, So when you turn on the power, here's your settings. Now what you're going to want to do first is connect it to the Wi-Fi. So you can use the buttons on the actual machine or you can go right to use your remote and go to the settings. So there's your Bluetooth. This can also be connected to any type of speaker. There's your network information. Here you have your picture mode, your options. You can adjust the brightness, which I thought was really cool. There's your sound mode. And we have, you know, a software update. So the first thing I did was went to network and you're gonna scan for your networks. I already have my network set up. It was very easy to set it to your own Wi-Fi. And you can use a HDMI stick with this, like a fire stick. We don't have one. So I'm actually going to be mirroring from my um, iOS device. I'm gonna be mirroring from my iPad. So this is what I did. First, I got my iPad and I connected to the same Wi-Fi that is connected to the projector. And then I went to the iOS cast. Do you see how you have your sources right here? You wanna wanna make sure you're at home because that means the home Wi-Fi. You can easily go to media. You have the mirror cast, the iOS cast, and the DLNA um, option. You have numerous options to connect. I personally use the iOS cast. So you're gonna wanna take your device that you're using. I was using my iPad and you're going to mirror, go to your options on your iPad or your iPhone and mirror your connection. It's in your control panel. So I'm gonna mirror and you choose the iCast F12F. So there is my iPad. It's mirroring it right now. So you can't use you know, Netflix due to the copyright claims unless you have like a fire stick. But I'm gonna go to YouTube and play a free movie from right there just so I can show you guys the quality and the sound. So there we go. <laughs> hey, Johnny. Hey, how's it going? Good. Hey. 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 Getting a nice start off with the bank cat. We're celebrating. Come on, just got the money. I think the volume is at a perfect level, but you can also connect it to the speakers. The quality is amazing. I definitely think at nighttime it would work. At nighttime it's going to be so much better because there's a lot of light coming in right now from my top window there. But look at the quality of that. That is awesome. I love this projector. I love this projector. I thought it was really easy to connect. I love how it has, you know, these easy display buttons right here. We got your volume. And this is how you would adjust the focus right in here. You just adjust it to your needs. It also comes with an HDMI cable. So you can go HDMI to HDMI. So it comes with your connections right here, your ATV connections. There are numerous ways to connect this. I chose the mirroring effect. Um, I definitely suggest maybe getting a fire stick because you can use that setting right there. There's also a USB. There is a card spot right there, your AV connections, uh, numerous ways. And I thought that the instructions were very, very detailed. 
Um, very simple, the way they have them worked out. It only took me about 10 minutes to kind of get everything out. I love this projector. I definitely recommend it if you want an easy connect to watch movies with the family.